The Great Fire of London changed the medieval city forever, destroying hundreds of acres, burning more than 13,000 houses and most of the city's churches. But out of the destruction came opportunity as bids came pouring in to rebuild the city. And there is St Paul's, the masterpiece of the man who landed the job, Sir Christopher Wren. Christopher Wren was this amazing polymath. He was a mathematician, a physicist, an astronomer, and an architect. And he was a great friend of the king and, of course, a devout Anglican. And what he really wanted to do was really put his stamp on London and to leave the fire behind to create this brand new forward city. So in some ways, St Paul's was the symbol of the new city. Well, the burning of old St Paul's was so terrible, so cataclysmic, no one had expected it. So the new cathedral became the symbol of this new forward-facing London and what I really love is that the symbols of the fire are on the outside so there are gilded flames and also there's this great phoenix and underneath is the motto resurgam I shall rise again so while these grand churches were being built what about ordinary people who'd lost not just their churches but their homes the ordinary people had lost so much in the Great Fire, and what you see after the fire is a real surge in religious worship. People are desperate for something like that never to happen again. And also, they've seen the fires of hell, and they really, really don't want to go there. Wren's redesign of over 50 London churches transformed the skyline forever. One church hidden amongst today's offices is St. Stephen's Walbrook. Oh my goodness, what a surprise! Isn't it incredible? It's such an amazing church. And it really, I mean, it was so significant to Wren, basically because it was his own local parish church. He lived just around the corner at 15 Walbrook, and it was also the church where the Lord Mayor worshipped. So this one, he really wanted to get right. So what can you see here that tells us something about the character of the man? What was important to him? Well, what's so important to him is space and light and also geometric shapes. So these shapes we've got up here, these fantastic windows. And of course, what's the most striking about this church is the absolutely fabulous dome, the prototype for the Dome of St. Paul's. This is the first dome church in England. And to Wren, this is the way of celebrating God. So what a huge amount that man achieved. Did he live long enough to see the end result? Wren lived till 91, and the whole skyline of London, it was all about churches, and that was what they really wanted to show after the Great Fire, to have churches dominating the skyline, that every time you looked at the skyline, all you saw was the churches, because for Wren, the most important part of rebuilding London after the Great Fire was celebrating the glory of God.
Next week, I'll be hearing about Quakers whose resolute faith in times of war compelled them to take a stance as conscientious objectors. But today we finish with one of Charles Wesley's most loved hymns, said to be a favorite of his brother John. Till next week, bye-bye. Spectacular sights, the glorious colours of autumn bring changes for wildlife across the globe. Next on BBC One, it's Earth's Seasonal Secrets.